Howdy, y'all. First off, I want to thank all the subscribers, new ones, people that's been with me for a while. Uh, this little video here is kind of requested by some people for my top gear for 2022. Hmm, where to start? How about with the razors? Probably my favorite of 2022 is this. This being the Razor Rock Lupo 0.72. For me, this is pretty close to perfect shape. Um, just smooth, no blade overhang, you know, I forgot what this handle is called, maybe the UFO, oh. but the Razor Rock Lupo 0 0.72. While we're at it, let's get into this one. All right, this one is the Razor Rock Game Changer. Uh, this plate I have, and I think it's the 0.84 plate gap. But the 0.68 is also very good. Um, just matters on my mood and what plate I use on this one. Um, I kind of think I mm, like the 0.62 a little bit better. But anyway, kind of the same thing. Slim head, you know, compared to the Lupo while we're here. Side by side. Uh, the Lupo has a scalloped safety bar. The game changer, not so much. You can see they're pretty similar. The game changer may have a little bit slimmer head, but this is also a phenomenal shaver. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of different here. Uh, Christopher Bradley by Carve. Um, this is aluminum. Uh, one reason I chose the aluminum over the brass is I've had the brass for a while, but the aluminum, I just love black and red. This is the E-plate. I think that's probably my favorite plate is the E-plate. Um, I also have the open comb F-plate in this one. And it shaves great. Nice, lightweight, uh, really cool looking razor. They do have two different types of caps. This is the, I think they call it the wide body. They should call it the big booty. And it, it covers the blade cap, blade ends at the top, but not the bottom. I found I can still nick my ear with this one. So, but... I just love the looks of this razor and how it shaves. All right. Sorry. Carve Overlander in aluminum. Um, I like the brass one. However, I didn't like the handle on the brass one. Um, this one, before I ordered it, I emailed Chris over at uh, Carve and he said, hey, just put a comment in there on what handle you like. So these two razors actually have the same style handle. So while we're at it, we might as well take a look at these side by side. Uh, on this one, the Carve has the scallop safety bar and the Overlander does not. This one, I can't recall uh, on the overhang. If you look here, or turn around where you guys can see, maybe. This one, the base plate's a little bit longer, so I'm assuming no overhang on this one. All right, that's the razors. I'm, I'm sorry, there was two from Italian Barber slash Razor Rock and two from... Um, carve. That's just how it was this year. All right. 
brushes. Love this brush. This is a uh, Kayuan. They call it the Diablo handle. I forgot what number it is. There's different style handles and everything. And this is the 24 millimeter um, High Mountain White Badger. Just absolutely phenomenal badger brush. Looks cool. Long handle. Can grippy, grippy. Very good. Very well. Uh, and I guess AP Shave Co. Uh, forgot the name of this handle. But it was a second. What's wrong with it? I believe he said the blue was, you know, bleeding out in the clear. Hey, I'm upside down. Can you see me upside down? Um, so it was discounted. The knot is a cashmere knot which is a synthetic knot, um, but it's not like most other synthetics. It's got a decent amount of backbone while still being just luxuriously soft. Love this brush. I think it was very, very reasonable. Um, for the price, I would suggest something like this. If you're starting out, it will keep you happier longer last little piece. It really isn't even a piece of shave gear. It's a uh, something that I use when I bowl leather. It's a 20 milliliter syringe. I just fill it up and you can see it has the numbers there to tell you how many milliliters you're putting in. I can really dial in you know the lather because I use a uh, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, you know, that way I know how much soap I'm putting in. With this, I know how much water I'm putting in at certain intervals and everything, and I can really dial in a bowl leather well. If you're a avid bowl leather, or, or probably better yet, if you're someone that is just getting into bowl leathering, yeah, something like that would probably really help you out. All right, that's what I have for my favorite shave year of 2022. I am probably going to pick a couple of these things and do a shave next. So everyone be good, be kind, be nice to each other. Don't you be a pain in my butt. And until next time, Jim's out.